Blood pressure is measured using the same manual technique as with a traditional mercury or aneroid device. However, the Greenlight 300 also has a number of additional features to assist you in taking accurate measurements. When using the Akison standard cuff, position the marked arrow that indicates the center of the inflation bladder directly over the brachial artery, leaving room for the stethoscope to be placed below the cuff. Close the cuff and make sure that its end falls within the limits of the rangefinder marks. Using the correct cuff size is an important factor in accurate blood pressure measurement. If the end of the cuff falls short of the rangefinder, the cuff is too large, and a smaller one should be used. If the end of the cuff falls beyond the rangefinder, the cuff is too small, and a larger cuff should be used. Open the air control valve to ensure that there is no residual pressure in the cuff. Then connect the tubing to the green light 300 and switch on the device by pressing the orange button. The green light 300 will automatically self-calibrate and a pressure of zero will be displayed. This unique function ensures an accurate and reliable display of the cuff pressure. Close the air control valve and, using the palpatry method, estimate the systolic pressure. Having deflated the cuff, rapidly reinflate it to about 30 millimeters of mercury above the estimated systolic blood pressure. Now begin to reduce the cuff pressure. The American Heart Association recommends a cuff deflation rate of 2 millimeters of mercury per second while listening for the appearance of the Karatkov sounds. In practice, this can seem surprisingly slow, but it is important in achieving accurate readings. The Greenlight 300 displays the deflation rate on indicators to the lower right and left of the pressure display. If the deflation rate is 3 millimeters of mercury per second or under, one of the five green indicators at the bottom right of the dial will come on. The middle of the five green indicators represents a rate of about 2 millimeters of mercury per second. If the deflation rate is faster than 3 millimeters of mercury per second, one of two amber indicators at the bottom left of the dial will come on. The position of the indicators just below the pressure dial and the use of different colored lights allows them to be seen out of the corner of the eye without distracting from the main pressure display. Note the reading of the systolic pressure when repetitive clear tapping sounds appear for two consecutive heartbeats. The American Heart Association recommends that measurements are recorded to the nearest two millimeters of mercury to prevent inaccuracy caused by digit preference. The green light 300 clearly displays cuff pressure in steps of two millimeters of mercury using a series of bright green LEDs, making it easy to comply with the American Heart Association guidelines. Continue deflating the cuff and note the diastolic blood pressure when the repetitive sounds disappear. Make one careful measurement of the systolic and diastolic pressures. Repeat the measurement if necessary, leaving a short break between measurements. When the blood pressure reading is complete, remove the cuff from the patient's arm. Leave the air control valve fully open to exhaust any residual cuff pressure. Then switch off the green light 300 by pressing the orange button. If left on and the residual cuff pressure is below 20 millimeters of mercury, the device will automatically switch off after one minute to save battery power. The Akison Greenlight 300. Accuracy, confidence, self-calibration. All without mercury.